Welcome to this episode of the Metrum Service and Maintenance Clinic. With me today is Lara Casadio. She's an expert in instrument qualification. Welcome, Lara. Thank you. Lara, why is instrument qualification as important as regular service and maintenance of your instrument? That's easy to answer. Just as a poorly maintained instrument can cause problems, also a lack of proper qualification of an analytical device can get you into trouble, especially in regulated environment. Think of warning letters from the FDA, for example. Okay, but what is instrument qualification? Basically, instrument qualification is a procedure of well-defined tests. Purpose of this procedure is to provide documented proof that your device, that your instrument, performs as specified. This means actually that the device is suitable for its intended purpose and provides accurate and reproducible results for the application that is used for. That sounds complex. Yes, indeed. And the qualification of your instrument is only a tiny part of the overall validation plan that you may have to complete and are also responsible for. But what if I'm not able to do this instrument qualification? Here we can help, we can support our customers with our IQOQ compliance mm -hmm. service, which starts already with an initial instrument qualification. Okay, and what would such an IQOQ look like? During an initial IQOQ, for example, for a volumetrical fissure titrator, the system gets unpacked. We install the software and the hardware. Then all individual components, the software and the hardware components, are tested to ensure that uh, they perform as per manufacturer specifications. Then, with a series of standardized titration, we also demonstrate that um, accuracy and repeatability criteria can be met. Then all these tests are meant to ensure that our customer system performs, uh, produces quality data. Then in the end, all findings are uh, very well documented and handed over to our customer. And here is an example. That's quite a lot of paper. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and once I have this folder, then I'm done? Actually, no. Qualification of your instrument uh, um, is not a one-time thing. To keep your system in a qualified state over its whole entire lifetime, periodic requalifications are needed, are required. And, um, well, the interval of such activities depend then on the instrument's criticality. Neglecting such activity may very well result in uh, well-known uh, warning letters issued after an audit. What is written in such warning letters? Well, what we have seen in warning letters Next to other things are, for example, references to um, missing procedures, a lack of documentation for instrument calibrations, instrument inspections, and also inappropriate preventive maintenance schedules. But to be fair, most of our customers, they don't run in such problems as they invest already in a proper maintenance plan from the beginning. And do you have a last tip for our viewers? Sure. Well, I mentioned the importance of a proper maintenance plan. Why not let us do this job for you? With a proper maintenance plan, you can rely our experts will do all tests necessary and documentation required for a requalification. And basically, you will have peace of mind that you'll pass your next audit without any problems. Thank you, Lara, for this information. You're welcome. I think this shows very well why instrument qualification is an essential part of your service and maintenance plan. Thanks for watching.